Hey, Shalom, Shalom, brothers. It's Brother Kamal Mahar here back at it again. First thing first, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and learn truth from GMS. Blessings to the Akimah there preaching his word, whole heart to sincerity. Blessings to the 144,000 and one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. The house of David, the Biaf, that would die. And Shalom to you, brother, they're speaking different tongues and looking at different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. So, so, so today, brothers, man, you know. I am uh, pretty far from from the uh, brothers of Philly right now. Uh, I'll be back uh, pretty much every Saturday with the brothers, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull through with the work still with the with the videos, and uh, see my brothers on the highways and hedges on Saturdays uh, up until a couple months from now. Uh, but the work must continue. So uh, shout out one to you brothers out there too as well. As, you know, brothers watch my videos and also my brothers in Philly as well. Shalom. Today, brothers, man, I want to get into. Um, a really a really nice topic I haven't gotten into a while or haven't really put up a video in general is when um by you know by doing the work of the Lord and um doing what's was 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 um you know um a reasonable a reasonable service or a sacrifice for yourself a reasonable service unto the Lord. You know, it's it's pleasing to the Lord to do so. But by doing so you showing yourself as a man and you sh and you pretty much being obedient to you have to the to Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. So it's a good thing, cause you know, cause by doing so, by keeping the law and moving in such manner, you know, you pretty much considered a top rank, man, top rank male, or what you would call alpha male, especially in the truth or in, in, even in the kernel. Um, like for example, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this with uh, Second Kings. Excuse my phone, brothers. Too my uh, phone been acting up, but I, I should be able to keep to keep this going. Um, let me go to. I guess Second Kings. Two, starting at one. Okay, no. So it's First Kings. First Kings two and one. And this is this is when um, David David was uh you know on his way out and he was giving charge to Solomon and what what he had to say. He says, "Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, let me go to the book. Um, let me go to." First Kings and look up the word charge. Um, first Kings two and one, and we look up charged. Charge will go into Sava, not Sava, and it's to command, charge, give orders, lay charge, give charge to order, um, to give charge unto. To give charge over a point, um, to charge. You know what I mean, I keep saying to charge, to command, appoint, ordain, or divine. Uh, so that's so. Uh, boom, that's, be that's beautiful. That's to the point. So he pretty much, you know, ordained him, or he put he laid charge on him. He's, he's he's the heir to the throne. He's second in command. And it says, I go the way of all of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Right. And how is he? And how is how is Solomon's going to how is Solomon going to be have to show a man? I'm gonna keep on reading. This is this is how this is how you show yourself as a real man, um, in, on this earth, especially if you're so-called Negro, Latino, Native, Samuel, Indian, as an Israelite. This this is how you show yourself a man, and keep the charge of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, thy power to walk in His ways, to keep the statutes and His commandments. And his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Right. So it's also telling you, like, by being a man and by following the, the commandments and, his, and the Lord's judgments, it's also the way how you're going to be able to be pr prosperous in this life. Well, you know, the Lord will throw you some bones. You know what I mean? We, this is not a rest or nothing like that in Babylon. But hey, when you're doing right by the Lord, even the Lord will bless you on this side as well i mean you got you got scriptures talking about um you know come unto the lord and do what the lord says roughly paraphrasing and the lord will even have thy enemies have peace with thee that's a blessing right there by itself you're going to need that in times to come right you know when it talks about what joel 2 and 27 that it says be not weary in in trouble because the lord is going to bless you and also give you um give you abundance um now, let me bring it out. You bring it out. I, I, I was butchering that one. It's 2nd Edgers 2 and 27. It says, 
said, Be not weary for when a day of trouble and heaviness cometh. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. And, and, and it says, The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. And why why is that? It's because they are they're the those are the brothers that's actually out there on the highways and hedges and doing these videos feeding the sheep. And those are the ones that, that the Lord sees as real men. So you're not a real man. You're not a real man in, in, in this world if you're not doing the work of the Lord or if you don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Shah and you're not actually, you know, obeying by the law sexual commandments of the book of, of, of the law of Moses. If you're not doing those ways, or at least to the best of your ability, we can't keep them all perfectly. But if you're not like putting your best foot forward in that manner and understand that Yahweh is and Yahweh Shah is and using those right names and you and, and, and you're going opposite of that, you're not a real man for real. That's what that pretty much is, because the Lord even even told us um, what love is. And if you're going to show some love, you know what I'm saying, how you show love in the scriptures? Well, if you want to show love in the scriptures, what's that? Um, I think it's 1 John 5. I think 1 John 5 and like somewhere around 3. Yes, it says, for this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments and his, com his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Right. You see that? So that's love in the scriptures. So that's showing love in the scriptures, but also by, by doing so, that's the, that's basically showing you that you also an upright person and you on your job and you a real man out here. A real man has his truth. If you don't have this truth, you're not really a real man. And true, a lot of a lot of brothers will also establish the fact that by being a real man, you also um you also are, are the most valuable person on valuable person on earth. If you have this truth, you're you're the most valuable person on earth. Just by having this truth. Right? Let me go to um Let me see. Uh I wanted uh what I had. Oh yeah, beautiful. Um Shalawan to my brother Samak, who also um put me on this one. This is a uh, Joshua. Um, Joshua one and eight. And it says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou, sh but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do the according to that all, all that is written in therein. For then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous, and then shalt, and then thou shalt have good success. That's what you want to do out here. You want to, you want to, you want to be, you want to follow the law, sexual commandments the best of your ability. Basically, like how David had put charge on Solomon. That's how you want to be moving out here. Moving like that is what's going to make you prosperous in a situation. It's the best way to go about the situation. Because look at it like this too. Uh, first, uh, first Samuel. You also got to know these precepts. The Lord is in control of all things. First Samuel 2, starting at, I believe, in school, starting at 5, it says, um, it says, start at 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. And it says, the Lord maketh poor, he maketh rich. He bringeth low, and he lifteth up. He raises up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among the princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he hath set the world upon them. You see that? The Lord is in control of all rich men and all poor men. So if you're going if you, if to strive for success, then you want to pretty much you know follow the law such your commandments the best of your ability and put your your, your 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 best foot forward by faith right because right here it says in matthew um matthew 6 it says as we th in 33 it says but seek ye first the kingdom of yahweh and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you and what is that everything Whatever it is that you need, because going into Matthew 6 talks about what you shouldn't worry about. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about right now. You know what I mean? The Lord, the Lord have the Lord know what you need tomorrow. Don't have thought into tomorrow. Let the, let tomorrow come when it come. But live in the moment. Right? That's what that, that's what Matthew 6 is going into. But the point is, don't worry about all of that. Just worry about seeking the kingdom of heaven and everything that you need will be added unto you. That's how that goes. And even as a whole nation, the Lord talks about. Um, in Chronicles, which one is another one my brother Samat had put me on. First Chronicles, what, 7 to 14? Or is it, um, it's reversed, it flipped. Yeah, Second Chronicles, 7 to 14. 
It says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. And how, how do you seek the Lord's face? You seek him by understanding who you are again, right? Which the Lord will open those eyes to you. And then you understand that you understand that you have a power and you have a law that you will command us to follow in order to be in back in good graces. And then by doing so, coming back, right, by faith through the grace period is still here for a second, what's going to happen? And, and it, it says, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then would I hear, hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. And that's a.k.a. being prosperous because that, that's from going going from down bad to down up and down good. You see that? It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. That's how you gonna. That's how you gonna make it on this side, man. You 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 wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna repent. Understand that you're an Israelite. Know that Yahweh, He is the be exists, and Yahweh Shah is the deliverer. He 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 delivers. He's the savior. Know those names. Repent, and then understand these scriptures. May the Lord may the may the Lord you know bless you with the knowledge. And then you come back to the fold and you believe and you rock out until the Lord send you have a shot back. And then may you be delivered for, from your faith while while putting your best foot forward or trying your best to keep the law, set your commandments to the best of your ability or, what, or from the ones you can control. Right. That's the best way to explain that. The ones you can control. Other than that, you can't control it. Then, you know, we got we in captivity. You got to have the liberty in this thing. You know what I mean? Some brothers got to work on the Sabbath. Some brothers got, you know, it's just, just the, way, the way the game works. But remember, our righteousness are, are as filthy rags. So we're putting our best foot forward, and we're not going to get saved by these works. You need faith first. And then by, by the faith, which means you do believe, and then the works that you do after that, it's just a, it, it's just a, a, a representation of your faith that's going to ultimately deliver you. Right? And then that, that's going to be in deliverance, what you think about it from my video, is prosper. I brought this out, Lord willing, it's edifying to you, brothers, Lord willing. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kakwadash. Uh, Yahweh, he is to be, he exists. By Shem in the name, and the only begotten Son, Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. By Shem in the name, and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the true truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akimah, they preaching his word, horror to the surety. Blessing to 144,000, one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, as David, that be Yafta would die. And Shalom's brothers out there speaking different tongues. And looking different nations. Shout out to you, brothers.